Hey guys, it's Kelly, the Frugal Fund Mom. Welcome to today's video. We're heading to Coles. We've got a $60 flybys spend to get 2,000 points. So I thought, let's do it because there are a few things I'm still chasing. It's Wednesday night at 7.23 p.m. And I thought, let's just see if this helps with any markdowns. I did see lots of stuff here in this first section. It looked really good, but I just left most of it. And we need this sliced cheese because Audi haven't had any. I'm so not impressed with the price, but what could I do? I saw this risotto thing on the shelf. <laughs> it just looks like pure mush to me. And also something leaked on the shelf and it was really sticky underneath. So I wish I never picked that up. That's a clue, kitties. Don't touch things. Look with your eyes, not with your hands. Checking out the cereal aisle, oh, my daughter has asked for one of the cinnamon things that we got for her a little while ago and I said if it's not special we're not having it so but I did look but I'll probably get the uh, Coles puffs if we're short on um, needing to boost because I haven't as usual <laughs> come in with a plan or anything so we're gonna just see what we can find in here I'm hoping there's some really good specials and I'm really hoping for like tomato sauce and other things that are an absolute must have that catch my eye. I'm super excited to find that there's more than one box <laughs> of the muesli bars that are here. So we're going to grab two packets and hopefully start being a little bit ahead of the game. I saw this markdown trolley here, no staff members. So I kind of was wondering what they were marking down. I've grabbed one of these tuners because I need it for a visual aid for a food challenge coming up and some noodles because this price was unbelievable. I really wanted to get two packs, but we've still got the whole pack from last time as well. So I'm just going to get one for now and um, yeah, we'll worry about it later. We haven't really been eating them as much either, so we'll take its time. I'm gonna grab my daughter a couple packs of her little ramen noodles because she really needs them. And oh we're gonna grab some of this chocolate. Shh don't tell the children. I'm gonna hide that away. Um oh apparently I do have a list here with me. I must have forgotten to show that in the video and good to see that Vegemite is still on the list and finally it's on sale so we'll chuck one of those in and hooray look tomato sauce oh, yes thank you but that's still going to remain on the list as a must have and we'll keep topping up for next time <laughs> i saw this in the aisle we really do need a kettle ours has just died and i was like hmm i wonder if i brought home a coles kettle but there was like no home brand stuff here which surprised me so I think I'll just go to Kmart and get something there. I'm gonna get some Ziploc bags because I really need those even though school term is wrapping up. Keep ahead for next term. And we need some corn kernels and oh, I nearly had a little bit of a panic that we weren't gonna be able to get any. And I seriously think if I didn't bother opening the freezer and digging through because we really are that desperate for needing them, I probably wouldn't have gotten any. So it's important guys, when you're on a mission, go all in. <laughs> I saw the new Coles uh, glasses promos that are here. I'm not really excited by them, sorry to say, but it's always good to know what's around. And then I had a quick look back through the fruit section just in case the markdown people had come through again, but there was nothing different. And I really eyed off this watermelon, but it just looked very flowery to me. So I thought mm, I might just leave it. All right, we're going to head to the checkout now. I'm pretty happy with everything we have. And Oh, the last check was about $59, but no doubt we're over that. And yes, $66.90. All right, let's head home and I'll share my haul with you. Okay, so here is our haul for $66.90. Don't get much bang for your buck anymore, do you? All right, first up is the chicken nuggets because we need those. And also for a food challenge coming up, so they'll be handy. Got the corn kernels, as you saw, that was nearly hit and miss of not getting them. So they're one thing I try and keep on hand all the time. I've got this apricot and almond cheese. I noticed, thank goodness, it's best before March next year because we've just found the dupe from NQR. So we'll be using that first and then moving on to this. Here are the muesli bars just out of their packet. <laughs> 
I tipped them out and put them together for a ASMR video for TikTok. So for those of you who don't know what ASMR is, I don't know what the initials stand for, but basically you listen to the noise of people doing stuff. So it's me like putting these muesli bars in here and like going. So if you like that kind of thing, you can go to TikTok. I'm the frugal fun mum there. You can watch videos. There's heaps of them over there. Some of them really fun, like lollies pouring into a jar, breakfast cereals going into containers, lots of stuff like that. I've got some ham for lunches. I've got tuna. I know tuna is cheaper at Audi, but I needed this for a visual because one of the food challenge I did, or oh, is coming up, I said that I just went to Coles, Woolworths and the local fruit and veg shop. So I was just trying to sort of visually keep everything clear of where we were and what was going on. I've got two of the cappuccino strong because I need them for some backup and also it helped push the spend over. But now then when I saw the total at the end, <laughs> I was like, mm, probably could have done without them. I've got Vegemite. Finally, it was on sale. So happy to have gotten that one ready for the backup. Slash cheese. Oh, the price of this is absolutely ridiculous. And I know it's cheaper at Audi, but at, there actually wasn't any there. I would have happily sacrificed this for this shop and gotten from Audi, but there wasn't any there. So I've decided just to bite the bullet and put it in this and get rewarded. And I'll worry about refills later. I've got two of the noodles for my daughter because again, they were on special. And also I thought I was under the $60, so I thought I'd grab them to boost over. She has these for in her bag for like a uni snack or something, so she's not caught out. We've got the Cocoa Pops again. These went so fast last time. So Cocoa Pops from the brand, Cocoa Puffs, sort of pretty much similar. So either way. Magic two minute noodles. For these to be on special for $7, I thought it was an absolute bargain. They're normally $9. So it works out super cheap and worth it. Snack pack, Ziploc bags and sandwich Ziploc bags for as they say, snacks and sandwiches for school. And look, oh, tomato sauce. Look at that beautiful thing. And I think the next spend that we have, I'll probably get another one so we never run out ever again. But that is our haul for today. Short but sweet. And yeah, I still feel don't feel like I'm ahead with some things. But other things, uh, we're getting there. So, yeah, we'll keep going. Thanks so much for watching and joining us with us today. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.